Hey guys, Freedom Day, Monday morning. We're in Leyland. I'm out with uh, Reggie Photo again. And we're at local council. South Rebel Council building we're at, and we've got a protester here. Supporting the community for the corruption against the Leyland Labour liars, which is good. Yeah, well, last year this council were given 12 months to turn it around because of all corruption. All right. We've had four chief executives in 12 months. The last one they got shut on were, you know, all the scandal of Liverpool Council. Yeah, yeah. Well, chief executive, Matt Manners. Yeah. Whilst you were being investigated for corruption at Liverpool Council, they took her on here. Oh, right. And then they found out they found out she was they found out she was fiddling this council out of over a million pounds. So they they put her on paid leave for two or four months whilst you were being investigated. Yeah. And then they give her hundred thousand pound redundancy money and I said how come she not get inside? They said, well... She should be in jail. They, they said, we call Sackham because she won't be able to get a job at another council. So, she's done Liverpool council. She's done this council. She's gone to another council. Now, the people who I was talking to were independent government people who fetched them in to help them to cover up all the work. Yeah, 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 yeah. And From top to bottom, and it's even on the internet saying it's corrupt from top to bottom on the internet. I know. Is it? No. Right. You know how long I've been protesting? 21 years. Have you? 21 yeah. years. And That's and dedication. The same, and the same people who they were bringing back to sort of corruption out are the same people who caused it in first place. Wow. All they're doing. They're going from one council to another council. What you should have done a long time ago was run for election. Ah, well, people have said that to me. Uh, Labour, they wanted me as a councillor. Tories, yeah. they wanted me. But what it is... You could do more damage from the inside. Ah, but if you knew true story... When it... Before they bought me from public toilet, I can't use public toilet. Right. What they, in there? They, they locked door. Right. And uh, the the council employees followed me into toilet in twos. Yeah. Getting out of me in toilets. Yeah. Threw cups of water in my face. Really? Said if I don't stop protesting, they were going to beat me up. And it shows it. It shows you don't see TT footage outside toilets. Right. Where I should be entitled to a copy of that tape because yeah. I'm on it. Yeah. Yeah. Now police at first they had a copy and council had a copy. It shows the council employees outside toilets turning it like How out. recent was this? Oh it's a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago. But I've been assaulted four times. By this lot in here? Yeah. The, See, they're trying to get me into a confrontation so they can have me arrested. Yeah, yeah. So, and I've had to bat the board, bullet. I've had my board, I have polystyrene boards before, and I've been smashed, I've been kicked, and it shows it on. Have you, have you had no other support here, anybody with you, no, over the years? Well, I've, when I tried to get solicitors, they tell me you know, they've all, they've all closed ranks on you. I'm, 
I'm up against the establishment. So that's right, yeah. So even though I've, I, I spent five years in Far East fighting communist terrorists out in Malaya, Malaysia, so I've done my bit. Yeah. I've never even had a parking ticket. Yeah. And you get treated like that by and this. I, and I'm paying nearly £2,000 council tax. And I can't use council toilets, and I can't use council amenities. Shall we uh, see if we can use the toilet? Yeah, I think we should try and put that to the test. So guys, yeah, you heard all that there. Well, you heard all that guys, South Rebel Council. Back outside for a moment, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you need to moment. calm no, down. Right. Yeah, but not, no, just for a moment, because there's no one in the building unless we've got appointments. So if we could just go back through this door firstly, and then we can help you out however you like. Well, we're already here no, now, aren't we? If you could please we're just already here now. through the door, gentlemen, please. We're already public, here now. Public video? Uh, public place? Video? Public no, no, place. it just, if I will excuse explain. Me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm it's all right, but, sir, excuse me. Right, okay. Sorry, Gentlemen, I will yeah. just repeat it one more time. If you were very kind to just wait on that side of the door and all the I just want to get a few pictures while I'm here and then I'll... Uh, can, can you not do in just, just a second? Sir. Right. right, okay. One moment. Is this a job centre or put up away? No, the job centre is upstairs. Oh, we'll come upstairs. And it's by appointment. Pardon? It's no. by appointment. You're not allowed to just wander around the building. Oh, we are. We're so not how do we get up to the job no, centre? No. How do we get up to the job centre then? Are we not entitled to go up to the job centre? If you'd like to speak to my manager here. Yeah, can you get your manager then? I'm here. Right, and so I've said it's by appointment only. Well, what? we won't be long. No, I'm sorry, a, you need to book an appointment. What is it you're coming for? We're covering a story on the corruption of the South Ribble Council. Right, so I'm you, need to, you need to contact So we're going to take a few pictures. That's the invasion of privacy, thank you. It's not privacy in public. It's not. Public. It's a public building, isn't it? You've not asked permission to take my photograph. I don't have to in a public building. I, I'll ask you to leave. And it won't steal your soul. It's just a photograph, it won't steal your soul. We're not here to photograph you, we're after... Don't be patronising with me. Get out of the building now, sir. please. Sir, the door. Well, we'll take a few more pictures. How rude are you? Sir, yeah. rude. that door there. How... Stop calling me, sir. OK. It is by Leave appointment only. What is? Visiting the offices. Here? You've not made an appointment, yeah, yes. Why is that? I thought it was Freedom Day today. Is it not Freedom Day? No, we are still doing appointments only. Have you not read the signs outside? No. Uh, you're and assuming you I can read? The building. You're no. assuming I can read? I've told you. It's you're assuming, assuming I can sir, read? The door. Did I not just ask you? I'm... Did please, I not? Can you please leave the building? Yeah, we'll leave in a minute. We're just going to take a few pictures. No, you've not made an appointment. Can you Don't please leave the building? need an appointment for what we're doing. Oh, have you finished being rude now? Have, have you, you, been, got have any you security? stopped being facetious? Facetious? Oh, How do you spell that? Yeah, can you spell it? Yes, I can, thank Go you. Go on then. Why not? Don't have you to. I'm asking you. you to leave the building. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you, to... mate. Can we get these two removed, please? Removed? Do you think we're a piece of shit on your shoe? I've never said a word. I've asked you. Removed. I've asked you. Removed. To make an appointment. Can we? How rude. Are you going to remove us, Mick? Well, no. We're going to have to leave. Yeah, well, she wants us removed like we're a piece of shit we're on our shoe. Need a, need I did not say then. that. I asked you to... No, you, that's appointment. what your tone you said. I, you have not got an appointment. Damn rude. You Damn have not rude. Got an appointment. And rude. unnecessary. Book an appointment. Unnecessary behaviour. Very unnecessary behaviour. I've also Sorry, asked you politely. No, it's not. Yes, we haven't been rude. You have. I've asked you to have we? Because we it is want, a point. We don't have we been rude? If have we been rude? By not doing as you've been asked politely again and again repeatedly. That's not rude. It is actually. That's not rude. That's, that's, not that's, not rude. that's called leave. having a break. The door's there. Are you wagging your finger at me? Does that look like it's at you? No, yeah. That door there. Time to leave. Looks like you're wagging your finger in my face. That's what I want to know now. I want to go to John. So, is that so yeah, well, as well. Yeah, but it, we need the pub, we need some information off the public boards. We want to get the photographs on the boards. So we don't need an appointment with anybody. We just need to take sense. some photographs. You need, you need to phone them. I can give you their number to phone them. But they're just there. Us, then, please. Yeah. And we're not here to cause any animosity to you. You are, because you've asked you to, I've asked you to You need to building. understand that this is a public building. We've yes, every right to be here. Yes, and by appointment only. No, not for what we need to do. We just need to take some pictures well, of the building. Well, you take photographs without prior appointment. the story on the corruption of the Borough Council. You're not without a prior appointment, you're not doing. Well, we don't need it. Well, we are doing. Thank you very much.
Can you please get out the building? So, if, if you just let your people know, we're going to be doing uh, an a tour of the building. Floor. So, you're not going to tell us that's not allowed here, are you? That's public, isn't it? That? You can... well, yeah. This is this public. Is public. By just... appointment. What you need to remember, guys, is that we pay years, no, years, you years, no, and year wages. No, you don't. Do we not? No, you don't. How do we not? No, you don't. How do we not? You don't pay my wages. Are you not paid no. by so tax funded? Who, what? Who pays? And who pays for that? Taxpayers. Yeah, like me. Yeah, we're yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah. you pay and you pay your tax with our tax. Can you please leave the building? Yeah. Do you understand that? Right. Well, can you take your mate to his obviously in an argumentative mood and leave no, the building? No, he's not. He's stating the fact of his rights. Right. We've got yeah. Right to be here. Yeah, and it's. All right, so I ask you to make an appointment, well, which I have so done. What are we doing trespassing if we say no? Because we don't want to cause any animosity. You're the one who's getting irate here. We're yeah. not getting irate. I've asked for you to leave the building. Well, we've, we've politely declined for that moment, and we're now moving on to our next stage. Well, we're not, there's no point ringing making a phone call. You know what they're going to do? They're going to say, no, you can't come into the photography. Yeah. That's all we're here to do. We're here to do. Under Section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act, we have the right to be here. By appointment? No. You've done what you've done now. So, does Freedom Day not count in then, in here? At the moment, no. Why is that? What, why, when are you having Freedom Day? I put you in touch with our Chief Executive. This is what we're uh, acting upon. It's appointment only. But Freedom Day today. Everything should be with open. Please, can you leave the building? Shouldn't it? Please. Everything should be back to normal. Shouldn't it? I'm only going off the instructions and guidelines that we've been oh, given. Oh, you're just doing your job. You're just I doing what you've been told, told, yeah? Do you, have a, do you have any comment on regards to the corruption of the council? No. I'm not giving you any comments at all. That better be a work phone, boy. The only comment is, is it? All right, we need your ID so we can make a request for that. No, thank you. GDPR regulations, you were aware of that law? Yeah, I am, but I'm not even recording you, thank you. Are you not? No, no. <laughs> oh, he thinks we're stupid, <laughs> doesn't he? <laughs> We can request Do not to touch my touch camera. camera. Okay? It's time to leave. You don't have permission to take people's pictures. Yeah. Really? Don't take my picture. You're too late. Do not right, touch it. It's time to leave. It's definitely. Why are you getting aggressive? Well, you are as well. You're wagging it's that finger again. Oh, You're wagging your finger again. Yeah, because the police are going to be checking your phone, boy. Yeah, they can check my phone. Yeah. Goodbye. How are you doing? All right, pal. Oh, <laughs> I hope you're aware of GDPR regulations if you're about to take my picture. Oh, well, I'm just looking at the phone, mate. So what's happening? I just want to know what's going on. We just come in to do a public interest video to get some public information and... There's no public information. And you'd think we were trying to rob Fort Knox. The way know, I didn't know what was going on. I was just coming to get me. The way everybody's acting, and, and this man, who trained him how to wag his finger so well? Where are you guys from, sorry? Planet Earth. <laughs> <laughs> who trained this man how to wag his finger in that manner? So, yeah, we're running a story on the corruption of the Borough Council. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, right. So, um, it's our free right to enter the building. I'm not a problem with you. But the problem is, they're saying, no, it's appointment only, but we don't need an appointment for the services. All we want is to get access to a public building to take photographs of plaques, get an overview of the building on the inside, proper. And it's kind of an audit, and the audits fail because these people are assuming we need an appointment, which we don't, because we don't want to require any services. Yeah. We might have needed the loop. Mm. Because we know there's a gentleman outside, he's been refused to go to toilet and everything. Yeah. yeah, do you think that's... Years ago, I believe, yeah. But do you think that's fair and nice? As one human well, being to another? Like no, we're not saying it. Okay, saying okay, can I ask guy, you... This guy here, yeah, he's, he's summed it up, you know, from what we're speaking about. Uh, can I ask you what your position is here? Uh, facilities. Facilities, yes. right. So... No, we're just... Uh, we'd like to know why... Certain people in here would refuse an 80 year old man to go to the toilet. Honestly, this has been going on for years. Before about 10, 12 years. Yeah, set that aside. Yeah. He's entitled to do what he's doing. Yeah. And as a taxpaying member of the community, he's also entitled to use a toilet in a public building. Yeah? I'm, oh, you, I'm sure that. 
I'm sure there's legislation somewhere to that respect. Yeah, would you agree? He's a worker. Has anybody? I mean, look at it. It's nearly 30 degrees out there. He's in his 80s. Has anybody even thought to take the man a drink of water? Is it? So what would you say if Covid weren't here? We'd just be gladly allowed to walk in the Yeah, because the offices will be open and this wouldn't be the situation. Yeah, but we're on the 19th, mate. Yes, freedom day. I've told anything different. So I will continue to do as I'm told in my employment. That's what the Nazis used to say. That's all it is. Whilst you're busy quoting whatever you quote, my, my mandate is to do what I've been told to do, and it hasn't changed. Yeah. So it's appointment... I do not believe anybody trained you or told you to we wag your finger. What my argument is very simple. I've been instructed. Do they have uh, so the water cooling machines in here? They can't come yeah, in without the well, well, job central. Say again. We don't have any documented. No, but do you have the machines? Yeah, we with a cup. Yeah, yeah. Would you be a, hu a, a human being and go and get me a, a cup of water to take to the man? People normally bring their own cups while it's been COVID. Yeah. I'm not being awkward when I say that. I know that, but if you've got plastic cups here, bring a, bring the man a drink of water. Yeah. So there we but, go, guys. Very hostile. Uh, stop wagging that finger. Very hostile, aren't it? Okay. You, you'd, nice you'd be very good as one of those guys stood at the door. He goes, if your name's not down, you're not coming in. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Mr. Waggy Finger, you do what I say. Do -do 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 -do. As usual guys, when we come into these places, they all appear from nowhere, they all spout off, dictate, threaten the police, get abusive, and then they all disappear. Look, they've all disappeared round the back, having a cup of tea and biscuits, leave the young lad here to face it all. Come on with that water. Guys, there's at least one member of staff here with a heart. Sir, you... No, they won't get a cup. Yeah, sir, you're a gentleman. You know, it doesn't take much to be nice. Human beings to human beings. Thanks That's appreciated. Thank, Thank you, you very much. We'll see you again at some stage, you should imagine. <laughs> okay, cheers. Here you go, sir. You've, you've got a safe cup of water. I watched him take it out of the machine. No, so nobody. No, it, it's not only that. If you have out to drink, I want, I want to go to the toilet and I thought it was toilet. So this is, this is why I don't have out tea to drink. Yeah, but is it good for your health not to drink? Ah, uh, I'll make up for it when I get on. Even if you just have a little sip? No, no. Nobody spat in it. I watched him. I could have less cup. I watched him take it out of the machine. Uh, but I see where you're coming from. I'll leave it there anyway for you. So then all they do hey, buddy. is sell it, you know? I'm on the top floor, so it takes me a while to get down. No, right, I'm all away. No worries. It's okay, it's okay. Or is there? Pardon? It's everything okay, you worry. No, everything is really far really. from okay. We wanted to do, just practice out our free right of uh, photography in public spaces on um, the complaint of the rule of uh, the policy of having um, a prior you know, appointment, appointment yeah. to be here. But we don't need to seek the services. We're running a story. 
and an audit at the same time. All so right, okay. the, the audit side of it failed because the you don't need to get out. You, now Your staff at that front reception have just acted abysmally. I think the issue is obviously it's the first day of the national lockdown, not lockdown, but you know, national restrictions kind of ending. Mm. So people are just kind of getting used to new ways of, of what we're doing. At the moment, because of the, the local case rate for COVID is pretty high, what we're doing is we're saying, well, you know, where people need to come in to do face to face customer services, we'll do it. We'll do it. Uh, by appointment. So are you going against government guidelines then? No, because the government, the problem is the government have lifted the legal restriction. Yeah. What actually they've said is in, from a guideline point of view, you'll want to take account of all of the local conditions and then make a decision on what's safe. Yeah, so the, the person in charge of this building could decide not to go with that yeah. then, can't they? Yeah, yes, but, but, we're, we're, yeah, but we're working with the, um, the, under the advice of the local director. Can, can, can Without sounding rude, can we ask who you are? Yeah, my name's Chris uh, Sinnott. I'm Deputy Chief Exec. Deputy so, Chief Exec? Yeah. Right. And how much do you get a year? Uh, about 100,000. <laughs> More than that. No, it's about, it's gone up, I think it's 102,000. Right. And uh, do you feel that your wage is justified? Well, I think so. I'm shared between Chorley Council and South Ribble Council. Right. So I work for both councils. Uh, so this, the the cost to South Ribble Borough Council is half of that yeah because uh, it's obviously done I feel I work pretty hard and I feel that um, that I, I'm here to try and deliver really good services for are you for the people well I yeah on behalf of the council so I'm an officer of the council no no so no I'm, that's not what I asked you I know but I, I asked that's you fine. if you are if you feel you're here in this role for the people yeah to serve our residents yeah, yeah. that's good to hear yeah, no, we are that's what that, that's what drives. That's why that's why I want to work for a local. Genuinely, yeah. why yeah. I want to work for local government because I think it actually is somewhere where you are delivering services to local right. people. If it comes across that way. Like I said, uh, one thing I'll, I'll uh, interject there: you've come over, you've, you've told us who you are. It's you've getting actually, me out in the sunshine. It's no, lovely. but you've been honest um, about you know your yeah. wage. We, I know we can publicly find out. Yeah, and there's but, no point in me going to you. Oh, well, I'm not telling you. And that says a lot about yourself. There's a lot yeah. of arrogant people out there that have got the back up. I mean, everybody else has just told us to get out and i think it's partially just i think it's partially that you know they're reacting in a in a moment aren't they i did have the time of walking down the four floors and kind mm. of that you know so you had time to get your answers ready <laughs> well, i didn't know what questions yeah. you were going to ask me yeah. so, um, yeah. and obviously i'm relatively new to the council so right i've not got all of the history of i've had so i'm not too sure okay. what you're yeah. investigating well, we, we, what we so do... This is a genuine question. Yeah. Right. yeah, well, we'll be honest, because you've been honest. We, we do, we, we practice art photography in um, society, and we like to do that without being challenged. And if we go about our day doing that and run a story or whatever it may be, and we get on without anybody challenging us, we think that day is won. Yeah, good and, day. Uh, we'll, we, public buildings are, like, the foremost at that top of the agenda, yeah. if I must admit. And, uh, well, to be honest, we're part of the auditing community. Um, and... Yeah, it can get quite lively at times, but what drew our attention was the block outside here with the placard. Now, I've just had a different uh, opinion of him, so the fellow at the front told us a lot about corruption. Yeah, so my understanding, because I, so I started working, I've been with Charlie Council for quite a long time, but I started working for South Ribble in the shared role in uh, December 2019, but then obviously we had COVID yeah. to deal with. So my understanding is it's quite historic that he's, he's been protesting about the council yeah. for quite a long time back in the day. This fellow said that, he said he's well, been here for 12 years now. And he, and he also said, this is where I'll probably fact check, because the problem is, you know, you can be liable if you accuse someone of um, doing something wrong and then they haven't. So, them allegations have been made. This, this chap here says everybody was made to be, it was settled and there were no fines of wrongdoing. So, on our behalf, that, that might be a good ending to our information today to find out the meeting bones about that yeah. yeah the outcome because you know he's got the right to protest but he might want to change it if it's if it's been settled and there's no wrong doing yeah yeah, this, yeah. You know. and, and i think I, this is my understanding i've not I've not been involved in the case ever so my understanding always was because obviously you know when you come come for your first interview or if you're in your first meeting you kind of go that guy out front, yeah, and it was always kind of was quite historic, and he, right, he, right. he was, had a grievance. So, as, council. as chief ex deputy, deputy chief, chief exec, do you think it's fair? <laughs> Cut. <laughs> 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 
like some rubber wheels. Right? Are you doing that on purpose? <laughs> you are, aren't you? <laughs> Do you think it's fair that an 80 year old gentleman, or in his early 80s, gets refused access to the public toilet in a public building? The genuine, and the genuine answer is, I don't know, because I don't know the history of all of the case, so I don't know what the behaviours and all the rest of it have been. Has, the has, there been, has there been any court issues? Has he been to court for anything? Not that I know, but this is a genuine... So he's not, there's not a court that. order, to order well, banning him from the building so then? Not that I know, but... So that decision has been taken at an executive level? Well, so what I was saying is really, I genuinely don't know. So I'm just from a position entirely of, yeah. I don't know. So right. I, I could walk back in and could, someone could say, oh yes, well actually 10 years ago, this happened or this happened. Yeah. yeah. So Now you see, no. some of this is... I don't want to be rude to you, but you're forcing me to say the, 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 <laughs> the line that I don't really want to say because you don't know the answers. You've not been here long enough. Did, did, all right, did you take that decision? Did you make no. that? No. No. Right. Um, and, and so do we need honest, to get the answer from your superior? I can I can look into it. I can find, I can look into it. But um, to be honest, the gentleman hasn't actually. I mean, he's been he's been back. I reckon for the last couple of weeks. Yeah. He's been been there. He's not been outside the building. Certainly right. not on a regular basis yeah. for okay. well over a year. So I suppose that's why I don't know because actually it's not been a current issue. Yeah. Whilst I whilst I've been here, so. I think partly this is again about just timing okay. and issues. Being deputy chief chief executive, set that aside, and as a human being, would you let the gentleman use the toilet in a public building? Again, I and I do genuinely mean this. I don't know because I've got to also balance the issues and concerns of the staff who are yeah. working in. That's what I mean. Well, we're area. trying to get to and the bottom of has he balance. has he created problems so, if he's come well, in to use so the I, toilet. So that's what I don't know. So and and I think part of this is around actually, it's the potential disruption to services. And I think to be honest, my understanding was always he wanted to be yeah. quite visible and you know out there. And he comes for a few hours a day and yeah. then he goes again. Right. So I've not ever seen anything in the last eighteen months where he said. Has anybody ever tried to establish if he's got any mental, mental issues? Again, don't know. You don't um, know. The impression, the impression I've always got is that... Um, he seems quite sane to the, us. Yeah, yeah, so the impression I've always got, and I've never spoken to him, and I've never spoken really directly in the last 18 months about it, but the impression I always got was that there was an understanding that he did have a grievance. I don't think the council agreed with the reasons for the grievance and all right. the rest of it. But I think they were a historical that, grievance. Yeah, yeah that yeah. he that, that he obviously had a right. He had something, and we might disagree with it. Yeah, but okay. we don't immediately go, oh, "You're crazy," because right. you're, yeah. you're saying yeah. something. So yeah, um, so yeah. I mean, in terms of coming into the building, if you want to come, we can look and make an appointment. No, I think that, that defeats the object. <coughs> yeah, yeah I know. Really. Part um, of our job is to catch people on their toes. Yes, yeah. and I think I, I can understand where you're coming from. Yeah. Sometimes you'll just get people like me coming and going, I don't know. So, um, and but the way you've presented yourself is much more appealing to the viewers, yeah. we think, than, oh God, than how um, your reception staff have just yeah, presented think, themselves. You know, yeah. I, I will defend them in that they're, they're working on the basis that people yeah. will be coming by appointment. I mean, yeah. they, they May I suggest some... A little meeting and some retraining on how to deal with yeah, and I think some of it is situations about, um, yeah, like that. You know, it's, it's people's immediate reaction, and I'm because sure you must come across this quite a lot. Finger wagging and get out, get out yeah. is not the appropriate manner yeah. to deal um, with members yeah, of the public. I mean, in terms of it being a public building, I absolutely understand it is a publicly owned building. Yeah. The staff themselves are not, you know, they're public servants, yeah. but they are still private individuals well, yeah. fulfilling a function. So I don't know who the woman was. Uh, she was some sort of management level. Yeah. Yes, our customer service manager. Yeah. yeah. And from her point of view, she will say, look, I'm defending my staff, my staff are really No, she was just, and, and she was just rude, view, but, you know. Um, For a management level, she should know how to speak to people and de-escalate situations. Yeah. She showed no signs of that level of experience whatsoever. Yeah. And, and again, I think it's partly just, it's the you know, first day where it's kind of yeah. getting... Well, let's hope so, next time we I come back. So, yeah, it's because like I say, you know, it's, uh, we, we want things to get back to normal and two guys are coming with a camera like there's yeah. too much part of the reason we do this is there's too much shadiness shiftiness with government buildings do you know that mm. 
and I, I do get that and I think uh, it's just that difference between you're working in a building that you see it. yes yeah. I absolutely this is the council's building it's a private it's not the council's building it's, it's the people's, people's yes, building but the council own it on behalf oh, of the residents yeah. it is a private building in that if you wanted to come in through the back door I suppose I can probably make the decision and say yeah come in but mm. actually the people who are working in the building have a reasonable expectation that actually they're not going to be filmed on yeah. a day-to-day -day basis. I, on the other hand, am getting paid a lot of money mm -hmm. and I accept that part of that comes that yeah. I have a public profile. Yeah. Uh, not that I actually ever think I want to have a public profile, but that's mainly because I think I'm quite... Well, there has to be a level uh, of uh, transparency, yeah. doesn't there? Yeah. And, and I think it's we just the find at which you, you We on. find less and less of it. The more yeah. the more of these government buildings that we do, we, we find... Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, the same behaviour. We, we you know? work towards. If you've got, if you came and said, "Look, we're wanting this," and I know you, I get your points about here, but actually, if you come and you, if you submit all the things in it writing, yeah, we'll pull together all the information. Now, from my point of view, that's more about giving you the full answer. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I can see from your point of view, you're like, yeah, <laughs> but what, what didn't defeats. make it into the exactly. answer, and how did it get yeah. spun? So, yeah. Uh, so where else are you going? We're just going to do a tour of this site now. We're going to get a glimpse of how this uh, COVID test centre is looking because um, there just seems to be no activity whatsoever, does it? Uh, no, we could. So we'll be glad to sit back we, at them as well. Like, we, you know. we, um, yeah, we were. One point, we're, one point we're getting to with these things is if you can now go into any chemist and get a, yeah, like a test, test to take yeah. home, then why are we still spending millions every week on all these massive sites? Yeah, and these are doing the PCR tests, they're you know? doing the slightly different tests. Uh, I mean, we were anticipating if it wasn't for all these places, you'd probably be on 120 grand a year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite happy with my current <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, no, You're not going to say no to an extra 20 grand a year. Nobody's that daft. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hope I was helpful. Um, if everybody would like you, Chris, I think they would be a better place. And uh, like I said, we'll probably we'll take a visit back. We'll let them calm down for now. When we we might, once we know the policies have changed about not needing yeah, a prior appointment. Yeah, we're reckoning that it's probably it's probably going to be six-ish weeks before we start yeah. working it out again, just because we've got kind of that summer period right. and the local case rates keep shooting higher up yeah. so yeah. we're guessing at the moment a little bit because it is a bit feeble and if we want to just get attracted to some information board see what you got on offer and just see, just yeah. see the upkeep and everything else and yeah but we'll do them a and, let, and let, let the manageress know that we're human beings we didn't come here personally to attack her so to say to mick is it yes mick mick can you remove these please you know like we're a piece of shit on her shoe yeah. okay. it's, yeah, it's the wrong that. attitude yeah, no, i get that um, yeah. and uh, you know it's a lot easier for me because i'm doing this outside in a car park now yeah, and yeah. not got all the the kind of pressure of everyone looking going well, what's happening what's happening yeah. so um, but yeah oh, well we've got to respect you, you you you're coming in front of us yeah really oh, look, we really do look, we will <laughs> we were genuinely, you know, when you ask me, are you for the, for the people? I am an officer of the council, but the council is entirely democratically accountable, so I do what the democratically yeah. elected councillors That's a good word, right, you see. Accountability. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. is. Uh, now, that doesn't mean I'm ever going to always agree with you, and sometimes no. I might tell you, sorry, yeah. lads, you yeah. need to go now. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. if you've got legitimate questions or concerns, we'll always try and answer them. Right. Um, so, yeah. The quicker you get to the top job, I think it'll be better for the community. I'll get back up to the top. Floor. <laughs> <laughs> what are you boiling up there today? <laughs> you soon. Take Cheers. Wow. Uh, nice chap. Nice guy. That's a first. Somebody coming out like that. Yeah. Chief deputy, chief executive. Deputy, so.